you might be a halfling. Hey, do you wear children's pants with a size 18 shoe? Have you ever gotten so high on that good grass that you get the urge to go on a great adventure? Well, congratulations, you might be a halfling. Halflings are one of the smallest races in D&D and are definitely not based on the small Tolkien characters with a similar name. That's ridiculous, why would you think that? But if you were to draw any comparison, Lightfoot halflings are like this Daniel Radcliffe look-alike, gaining a plus one in charisma and the ability to hide behind larger creatures, and stout halflings resemble this Tater Muncher, gaining a plus one in constitution and resistance to poison. But if there's one thing about halflings, it's that they're remarkably resilient. That translates to D&D as the ability to reroll a one on any d20 roll, which is pretty amazing, but also explains how they're able to face off with dragons, fire demons, and even godlike lords of some rings or something. But if you're feeling a little peckish after your second breakfast, can't wait to get back to your round home to light up on that sticky icky, and became the driving force for a book series that spawned a tabletop game that inspired countless generations of fantasy lovers, guess what? You might be a hobbit. Uh, 